tactile, tinkerable, and old fashioned. Uh, using fountain pens is a great sensory experience for the everyday fidgeter. My hope today is to spark a bit of interest in you into the world of fountain pens. My name is Nicole Neely and I have been using them for nearly two or one year now and I have consumed a lot of content in the hobby um, when it comes to YouTube videos, Facebook groups, uh, just the websites in general. Um, so I've consumed a lot of it and I want to share the basics with you today. This demonstration is going to have approximately six materials and eight steps. We're going to kind of go over those materials and caveats first. So the first material we're going to need is of course a fountain pen. This one is a Lamy Safari in the cream color. It is a cartridge converter, which means that it has a little part in it that you can fill up with ink. So this is the converter. Um, we're going to fill this today with a different kind of ink. Then this part is the nib and feed section. So this part is where the ink flows down to. This is the part we're going to write with. And then of course the body and cap of the pen. The next thing that we're going to go over is the ink of choice that we're going to pick. Today I chose Lamy Azurite, which is from Goulet Pens. They're a great resource if you decide that this is something that you're interested in. They have great YouTube videos and their website is very user friendly. I've purchased a lot of my stuff from them. So the uh, next thing that we're going to use is a blunt tip syringe. I also purchased this from Goulet. Um, it has a flat tip on the end here and this is what we're going to use to fill the converter with the ink. Then we're going to need a glass of water. This is what we're going to clean our fountain pen or the syringe with once we're done filling. Then we need a paper towel, just so that way we don't get it all over the table in case we have any spilling. Then finally, a notebook so we can test out the ink together. Uh, this notebook is a heavyweight paper from Walmart, just a heavyweight notebook. Um, there is other kinds of paper and those include things like Clairefontaine, Rodeo, Rodia, Toma River paper. Uh, those are more fountain pen friendly papers. This one's great too. Very cheap, um, like entry level type of paper that can withstand the fountain pen ink. Um, but now that we have a little bit of background on the fountain pens and the materials, we can begin filling the pen. So today, um, like I said, this is a Lamy Safari. The color is cream. They're about $30 um, and you can buy them on Amazon even. Uh, they are a great uh, beginner pen. But we're going to take the pen apart and remove the converter, which we did during the material portion of this. Uh, second, we're going to lay everything out on the paper towel so we don't spill. Then we're going to open the uh, ink up and put it into our syringe. Um, so we just dip the syringe in there, suck up some ink, and then we're going to put the ink into the converter. And we're just going to fill it up to the very top of the converter. And then we're going to shoot any ink left into the vial again. And then we can put the syringe into the glass of water. So now that we have our converter filled all the way, we can go ahead and clip it into the nib. So now that we've filled the pen, uh, it does take a little bit of time normally to get the ink from here to here. So we're just gonna prime it a little bit and we're, by doing that, we're just going to use a little plunger inside of there to push the ink up through the feed to the nib. Um, so now that it's coming out the top a little bit, that means that we're ready to go. We're going to put the barrel of the pen back on and cap it so we can put our ink away. Um, we can just recap the ink bottle and clean out our syringe a little bit. This ensures that the um, ink doesn't get stuck up in there because we want it to be clean for the next time that we use it. 
Uh, but just love how pretty that water is. So, okay. Now that we've done that, we put that aside and we can test out the pen. Okay, so we can get our paper and it might take a minute to get the ink going, which is completely normal. Um, but we can go ahead and write, um, I can do my signature or we can write what a lot of fountain pen people do, which is the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. And that's really to just get all of the letters in the alphabet into one. A lot of people will do that in cursive, um, but there's kind of the overall writing experience there. Uh, it's a nice big thick line. You get to use all kinds of fun inks. Um, so I hope that uh, you really enjoy today being able to uh, learn a little bit about the hobby. Um, we can kind of go over what we went through for today and we learned about a very small portion of the immense hobby of the fountain pen community. We got to fill a pen and write with it and experience the pinnacle writing experience, if you will. I hope I have encouraged you today to take a peek into the fountain pen community and become a little pen -abled yourself. Uh, like I said before, you can always check out Google Pens if you have any more questions or if you are interested. You can always welcome to reach out to me if you have any questions. Um, but my name is Nicole Neely again, and I hope that you really enjoyed this today. Thank you.